o'clock, 903 actually, and it's Phil Talk with Devin Will. Yeah, I hope you had a great weekend. Uh, we're looking forward to a gorgeous week. The sun is shining outside. The birds are coughing, I mean singing, and um, it's going to be it's going to be a great time. To, Good morning, everyone. To the barbershop. Got strapped up this weekend. It's been a good time. Hey, Brian. Uh, I think we have uh, what is really an important topic this morning, and I think this topic affects everybody in a lot of ways. Uh, I think that this topic is a, a topic that if you can get a handle on, then you can you can really, and I know this sounds hyperbolic, but you can really improve the quality of your life and the life of, of, of the people, people around, around you. you. I really do. So uh, I'm not asking you to take notes, but I'm asking you to, to take note uh, what the topic is today. Um, the topic today is forgiveness and all that that entails. Um, How did and you come up with this topic? I came up with this topic uh, doing one of my, my little reading Bible study. I have a, an app on my phone. Yeah, I do. my Bible's on my phone now. And well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, while reading it, um, reading over, it was uh, Matthew 6, 14. And um, it talks about... Um, as we forgive and then it had a little segment there you know that you study and talk and talk about um, how forgiveness is for you um, you know a lot of times when we have a grievance with someone or our spouse our friends or our work people we work with and for you um, tend to you know you we focus on you know because you're hurt you focus on the fact, you know, well, I'll show them, you know, and you're going along carrying this, this hurt and trying to, 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 to show these people that, you know, you, you don't matter and what you did is okay and I'm going to be better for it and all this stuff. And all that is good if it's positive for you. But a lot of times we're carrying around stuff for years and the other person is just living their life. They don't even remember it half the time. There's sometimes, you know, you've had uh, things, people carry stuff even from high school and college and, and, and with family members that happened, you know, years ago. And they're still, you know, well, I remember when you did blah, 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 blah. And I forgave you, but, you know, I ain't never forgot. Well, then you didn't f truly forgive that person. And that's really, <laughs> and, and, and that's really an inappropriate phrase where you say um, that you forgave somebody, but you're not going to forget. Now, I think what that actually means, and we're going to talk about it more in a, in a little bit, is that you forgave them, but they may not have the same position in your life again. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I think that, that's a maturity um, thing, but we're, but it's it's not exactly all of what we're talking about. But yeah, that that makes sense. If somebody steals something from from you, uh, like they clean out your bank account, uh, you may forgive them, but you probably won't give them your debit card again. That's not the same thing. Having the same position in your life again. Yes. Uh, if some you know if you have a, an, an employee that embezzles money. Um, then you, they may not have, I mean, you may forgive them, but you may, you may not employ them anymore, or you may not have them treasure or, or, I, I, you know, or, you know, running the register anymore. Um, so that's, people, people have a really sort of skewed view of what all these things are. Uh, and like Debbie's saying, you know, what forgiveness is as much, actually probably more 
for you than it is, than it is for the other person. Yes. Uh, because once you release them in that, you, you, you should be able to release that angst and that hurt and that pain for yourself. Uh, because I learned a lesson. It's been funny we were, we were talking about this last night, and I always I, I, and I always remember this. I always remember my first year teaching at Dell Dell, um, being mad at some kid, being furious at some kid during the day, like third period, and my and my head was hurting, and I was just mad. I was still mad by the end of the day, and I see this kid going to the bus, and he's going la 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 la, and they're running and jumping and playing and having a great time, and I'm still mad. I'm thinking. What's wrong with this picture? Something's wrong with this picture. This kid is like la 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 la. Like I like I like what what the screaming match we had third period never happened. Completely, he's completely moved on, and I'm still four hours later still holding on to it. Got your blood pressure. Oh up. my god! And I'm like, well, something's <laughs> wrong here. I got to start doing things differently. And uh, I think that, that that for me that was a that was a really good picture of letting stuff go. For my own benefit. Yes. For my own benefit. I, I Forgiveness mean, is not for the person that you actually go and apologize or, you know, clear things up. It's really for you because going years and years, um, hello Sheila, uh, going years and years with, with that same hurt and feelings and stuff like that really, you know, isn't good for your health. It's not good for you mentally, you know. And, and spiritually. Well, the word does say that if you have aught, if you, if you have aught against your neighbor, that your prayer is not going to be answered. So your prayers won't be answered. So it's it's good for you in every single way to to forgive them, to let it go if you can, because that's going to benefit you. What, what was that movie, Frozen? Let it go. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> let Don't it go. Say, no, let that go, please. <laughs> let that go. My God. <laughs> Look who's here. But, <laughs> Miss Chloe. Hey, Miss Chloe. Good morning. Good morning, hon. Uh, it, 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 but, but, you know, sometimes you just, you, I think most times you have to. And I think that you will, you will live a better life. Um, and, I, and, and part of what we talked about last night also is mm -hmm. something else that people mistake. People mistake the, the apology, the whole apology thing. Because some people will think, and I know this is a problem, some people will think that if they say they're sorry, First of all, you're supposed to forgive them. Well, you know, when someone says, well, I'm sorry. When I said I'm sorry, sometimes I, I think that we misunderstand what that is. Mm -hmm. um, I hate that phrase because it, really, it, it doesn't really say anything. Uh, people need to apologize to understand what an apology is. An apology is, a, uh, is an admission that you are um, sorrowful for your action and a pledge that you won't do it again. That's an apology. Um, and at that point, it's really up to the other person at that point to forgive or not. Now the ball, if someone apologizes in a real way, in a repentant way, now the ball's in your court. Which means you can hold on to it. You can hold on to it for 40 years. You can go to the grave with it if you'd like. Or you could just forgive them forgive and move them on. Forgive them and move, and move on. on. Let it go. Because um, I, I often think about, and, and I'm a... Golden Girls fanatic. I love to watch Golden Girls, and I remember this story on Thank there you for being that um, her and her sister, you know, hadn't talked in like forty years. And which one is her sister? Uh, Sophia. Sophia. And her sister, and they brought her sister over for her birthday, and and they, you know, they hadn't talked for forty years, and then they finally got together, and they were still mad. You did this, blah 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 blah, and they couldn't even really remember, remember why they why were angry. they were angry with each other. And you, you haven't spoke to your sister for all those years, and you can't remember why. Nope. That's sad. I think what happens is there's an event, and then there's reaction to the event, and then a reaction to that reaction, and, and then it, and, and the, it's the talks about a really small thing. And then all the reactions to that sort of grows, and that's and that's where the resentment comes. The initial offense is minuscule and didn't matter. It it, it, it didn't matter then, and it definitely doesn't matter forty years from now, you know, forty years from now. Um, but I think it's all the reaction, all the inappropriate reaction, all the you know what, all the things that get said in the meantime. Um, you go to this person and talk about them, and you go to that person and talk about them, and you build it up, and you build it up, and especially for women, I think women have a, a 
a harder time letting go of things than men do. Because you, you hold on to stuff. Some of y'all are still mad from high school. <laughs> yes. You go hold on to stuff and you go and Look talk at Facebook. to this person. Look at Facebook and y'all can prove it. <laughs> I can prove it. Look at Facebook. Some of y'all feel mad from high school. I'm like, yeah, y'all can stop that. Yeah, it's time to stop stalking people on Facebook because of something that happened between you in high school. Really? Yeah. Some of, some of us, I know with us, we're 50 some years old. Get over it. I went to high school, I graduated from high school 40 years ago. Um, I'm the person who, who can't really remember, I can't remember any individual days in high school. Other than like small snippets, like when um, Dale Davenport crashed his car in Orange Grove, that was funny. That was hysterical. But individual days, I can't. I really can't remember any individual days in high school. But it was forty years. It was forty years ago when I left. It was forty-three years ago when I got into high school. It was almost a half century ago. Uh, yeah. Did, did, did somebody do something to me that wasn't appropriate or say something that wasn't appropriate or, or that, that hurt my feelings 43 years ago? Probably. I don't, first of all, I don't, I don't remember what it is. And even if I did, yeah, I'm over, I'm over that. I lived, <laughs> you know, and I've had a good life. Yeah, I'm done with that. And I think that, that that's really, like they say, success is the best revenge. Uh, so the idea is that it's time for a lot of you to let some stuff pass away but if you're trying to be successful because and show somebody on facebook 40 years later then it's on you there's something wrong with then, that. then it's on you if you make sure that making sure that you're posting that you have a nicer car than they do and you live in a bigger house and you know and you have a more attractive husband or you have a more attractive wife and and and, and, and you get to go on better vacations than they do and and you're still holding that Come on now. Come on, y'all. Come on. <laughs> it's about time, isn't it? Yes. It's about time. Um, I, I, but the reason why I think the Lord brought this to me is because I have uh, problems letting go of things. Because I'm, I, I guess my, my mom used to always say, you're, you're my tender-hearted child. Because I get hurt. And when I get hurt, I tend not to forget what hurt me. And it takes me a while to, to get over it. And this, this verse came up, you know, again, it was Matthew 6, 14. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. So, I, I read this and read it over and over again, and I really brought to myself, you know, is there anything that I'm holding on to that I need to, to let go, that I need to, to, to just forgive that person? And, and then it did. So, I'm, I'm dealing with that. I'm not going to blurt out what all my personal stuff what? is, but... What? <laughs> but... But there are things that, that you have to just let go and you will feel better. You will, your relationship with that person will be much better. Um, I, I don't know if we shared on here about me being no, offended. We didn't. No. <laughs> and we talked about this last night. Are we okay with I'm good with I'm 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 okay. good with it. And um I expected it. <laughs> I prepared. <laughs> Another per, thing per, per, that, that I that I got, uh, but we have dealt, we ourselves have dealt with this and talked about it, and we're oh, and I'm over it now. But um, we always talk about my husband um, getting ill in 2014 when he had um, bypass surgery, and he got sick in the middle of the night, and you know it was it was a dramatic it was it was, it, it was dramatic, dramatic it was over the top it was ridiculous. Uh, it was. It was. It, and, and it was scary. And I, I you know what? It was, not only was it scary for me, it was scary for my wife and it was scary for my son. It was scary. Uh, it wasn't. Like, it wasn't like when people, other people, have triple bypass to go to the doctor and they don't feel well. And I may they admit you to the hospital. I may schedule them. They schedule the surgery for a couple of weeks and everybody's fine. No, I had this really dramatic event where I threw up and couldn't breathe and passed out and my heart stopped and so I was, it was bad. Let me tell you, it was. It was horrendous. It was very, it was very scary. 
so so I just want to give you a picture of what you know what, what they went through, what you know what, what was going on at the time. Um, so, and you know we dealt with that, and the, you know the the recovery oh. and all of that, Almost you know, worse. and. Um, at the time, I was working a very high stressful job as well, you know, being a manager and, and dealing with a lot of issues there and, and different things. And I, I realized last year when we were talking about it that, that I was holding a, a grudge against my husband because he put me through that. I did. And I had to ask him to forgive me, you know, for being angry. I was angry and I was carrying that around in there. So, you know, when you carry stuff around, you you say, because I do love my husband dearly. And you say these things, good morning. Oh, that's Alfonso. Okay. But you say these things and, and then, um, you, you said you go on and I lost my train of thought. You, you go on and you <laughs> find it. Squirrel. <laughs> yeah, squirrel. But um, I realized that I, you know, I was snapping back at him and, you know, ignoring him and doing things and stuff like that. And I was really upset because of what he had put me and, and my son through. And I had to ask him to forgive me for, for feeling that way because, you know, people don't get sick because they want to get sick. No, they don't. You, yeah, you don't want to stop your heart on purpose. <laughs> you, don't want to be, you don't want to mess with that. You want to go, wait, wait. You don't want to do that. But it was very traumatic. Yeah. And I, like you said, it was a P. What is it? That the Trump. Uh, Trump it's, P you know, it's PTSD. It really is. You know, and, I, and, and I know that we always. Um, attribute P PTSD to people who have been in in, 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 in combat, mm -hmm. but if you experience a traumatic event, you too can experience some level of PTSD. Mm -hmm. uh, whether it's a, p people people get it from car accidents and of course events like mine. Um, so it is no doubt that 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 evening was could be on that level where someone could be um, uh, having to deal with PTSD. Traumatic. You know what? Because mm -hmm. because it, it was traumatic. There wasn't any. There wasn't anything chill. Yeah, as chill as I, I am now, I was not that chill. <laughs> I was not that chill. Uh, when when you can't breathe and you're drowning uh, and things are getting dark, yeah, it it was bad. It was bad. I was not chill about it. I was not funny. I was not humorous. I was not clever. I was not. I was struggling. And I was and I was and I was terrified. And then everybody else was terrified too. So. Yeah, so so that can raise the level of PTSD. So you know when you have people who go through that, watch them. You know, understand it because it's real. You know, understand it because it's real. Because it's real. So so and and, and yeah and I, and and and, I, and after putting my family through that, um, it, it, it you know it was easy for me when she asked for my forgiveness. It was easy. To, it was easy to because in in the meantime, through all of that, where I for a while, for a week or so, I couldn't go to the bath. You know, I had to have help going to the bathroom. I couldn't wash myself. You know, I mean, yeah, they would. I mean, she was there the whole time. So, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I would be there for you always. I appreciate but that. It was. It was. It was hard. Tough. It was hard. You know, and I and I, and I understand that. Uh, my son would wake me up in the morning and feed me bre and make breakfast for me in the morning. You know, so they were. My, my family was there for me, uh, for sure. So so don't think that 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 they just let me. Sit, you know what, and you know what, because we were mad with him. Yeah, but <laughs> make me sit in a bathtub like, um, what was that movie? Um, a, Diary of a Mad Black yes, Woman. Yes, Diary of a Mad Black Woman. <laughs> she was eating food on the other side of the table, <laughs> and he couldn't eat. <laughs> it, 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 it wasn't like it wasn't like that at all. Um, <laughs> You know, I had you know I had the, you know even through all that I I, I had the best care so it was, so it was easy it's easy it was easy to forgive so yeah and no but, it wasn't quite my fault but it was my fault you know I live I I, I live this, this this lifestyle that put me in that situation so yeah but um, I urge you to 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 if you if you read your Bible read that verse and and look it over and ask God to reveal to you if there's anybody that you are dealing with 
you know, in your heart that you know you need to forgive them for something that they've done and, um, and, and deal with it. Talk to that person and tell them how you're feeling. It will take such a burden off of your heart, your, your spirit, and you will feel free. I promise you. Yeah, you know, there's, um, Debbie's not going to talk about her situation, but I'll talk about mine. Um, there was a, um, some folks I worked with um, in Virginia and in, in Wisconsin that I did some, some work on here on the internet with. And you've, and you've probably seen some of the work I did. Um, and we had this agreement. I mean, and I had gone up there and spent a, a couple of days there covering some events. And um, so we had this agreement. And then suddenly, literally not out of nowhere, oh, we're not doing that anymore. But nobody told me for like two weeks they weren't doing it anymore. So there was this back and forth, and I was really angry, really angry. It was really inconvenient. You know, we had planned on that money and all that stuff, and I was really, I was pissed off. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I was pissed off. Um, so about a year had gone by or so, and that was after, was that after, was that after my surgery? Yeah, it Yeah, was. it was after my surgery, so I, you know, I'm like, anyway. And I thought, after all the crap that I've been through, it's not going to treat me like this. So in any case, yeah, because it was weird, because I was, I was sort of worried inside my head about flying. I, that was the first time I flew after, after the surgery. But, um, and I had to go back. I had to go back, and I called, and I, actually I called him up and said, you know what, I really want to, I really want to apologize for the way, you know, for the way I behaved and, and some of the things I said and, uh, because I was still, because I was still, every time I thought about it, I, I'd get angry. So the only mm -hmm. way that I could not I get angry, the only way that I could not get angry every time I thought about it was to call them and, first of all, I called them and apologized. I forgave them for, and, you know, for, for all that happened. I had to apologize and I had to let it go. I had to just say, you know what, that happened and it's over and I'm okay and they're okay, Everybody, everybody's okay. And I and I had I just I just had to at some point just go okay yeah because it wasn't for them it didn't you know what it didn't do them any good that I forgave them necessarily but it really did me a lot of good that I forgave them for what I, I mean for all the stuff that happened and and the inappropriateness of, of of how it all went down I had to just go and I think that that's something that you should really look into and like Debbie said if you've got something like that going on in your life right now. But every time you think about it, your blood pressure ticks up a little bit. Your ears get red. <laughs> um, you got to deal with it. Better de you better deal with it. Because mm -hmm. that person may not, that person, first of all, two Probably things. They don't even know you feel that way. <laughs> two things. They don't know you feel that way. And they're not interested in changing. Mm -hmm. They may not be even interested in apologizing because they don't think they're doing anything wrong. But that's not, that is not what you need to forgive them. You don't need their apology to forgive them. You don't, because that's, you, your forgiveness doesn't have anything to do with them. That has everything to do with you. It has nothing to do with them at all. Because obviously they don't think they did anything wrong. Oh, they would have. Oh, they would have probably come to you in, in the mm -hmm. past seventy-five years. You know, when they <laughs> stole your fire truck when you were three, and you're still and you're still angry about it. They broke. <laughs> they broke your favorite toy when you were seven, and you're still mad about it. Um, well, they took your boyfriend in high school. And, and that Negro was in jail. <laughs> they did you a favor. <laughs> <laughs> but you still didn't think the way they did it was okay. You know what? So it's... it's so get over it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's probably... If that still bothers you, it's probably time for you to do something. It's probably time for you to forgive them. Now, do you have to call them and forgive them necessarily? Do you have to contact them and forgive them? Not necessarily. If they're not in your circle of, of, of people that you still see all the time, not necessarily. You have to forgive them in your heart anyway. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to you don't have to stalk them on Facebook. You don't have to bring it all up. <laughs> you don't have to send them a clandestine email or text message. But if you're but if you are in a relationship still with them if and you can, you can communicate, do. do that. Because I I think I think it will make you and them feel better and, and, and it will improve your relationship. But if you if there's somebody that you don't talk to on a regular basis and they probably don't remember the thing, you can go you can go to God and just ask, you know, to cleanse this from you and you forgive that person and you're over it, you know. But um 
if you are in a relationship with that person, talk to them. Because I can tell you, it improved me, me and my husband's relationship once I let him know how I was feeling and how hurt I was, you know, and it helped. It did. It did. Certainly. Um, and sometimes, you know what, and, 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 and you know what, and when Christ was asked, how, you know, how, how much should I, um, uh, how, how much should we forgive? And he said 70 times 7, right? Well, and, and I know that, that just doesn't, doesn't mean that many times, 490 times. That, 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 that means every single time. That means do, get good at it. Get good at it because, frankly... You're going to have to do it over and because, over to get through be, this life. Because God forgives us for just horrific things and horrific thoughts every day, all day long. Mm-hmm. Every day, every day, all day long. So, um, get get good at it. Get get a, get good at letting it go. Get good at forgiving. Let it go. <laughs> that is the worst. He, he that is the worst like that song, song ever. It is not. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. It's the worst song ever. But we encourage you today to. To, to, to let things go. You know, we have only one life. There's only one life. And and we have to, and God has put it in, in us here, put us here in order to enjoy it. Believe it or not, life is to enjoy. And the less stress and, and hurt and, you know, all that stuff that we back up into our bodies and hearts and minds the easier it will be. Yep, it is. So again, if you've got someone to forgive today, do it. Do it today. It's Monday. It's the beginning of the week. If you got a coworker at work, I mean, that you have to talk to, do it. Do it. Do it. I'm telling you. I'm telling Imagine you. Imagine how more productive you'll be at work if you're not feeling uptight every time that person walks by your desk. Yeah, I mean, so that's you know, and, and I and I know that you're gonna feel. It's going to feel weird when you start, mm-hmm. but do it. Go ahead and get it done. Because you, cause you're going to actually, you will actually probably feel a physical lifting and a lightning. And, breathe. And, and, and you'll be ready to exhale, which means you, that you don't have to go out and burn up their clothes in the front yard. <laughs> Waiting to exhale. She should have just let it go. <laughs> she should have just let it go. Yeah, that, that wasn't a good thing. A lot of movie references here. <laughs> well, you know, we used, I used to watch movies. I don't watch movies anymore. We watched Hidden Figures the other night. Yeah, that was kind of a weird movie. That was a good movie. Have you seen Hidden Figures? Hidden Figures. Check that out. Check it out. It's, it's, it's an interesting movie. All right, listen, we got to get out of here. It's 9.30 and make room for somebody else. Um, Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Those people on YouTube, make sure you do that. Uh, we are 14 subscribers away from the 5-0 number, and I'm, I'm a big believer in milestones uh, because once you get to that milestone, you tend to stay there, and then you tend to move forward. Um, so that's our, that's our first milestone, and then our next milestone will be 100, and then 500, and 1,000, and so on and so forth. So go to the YouTube channel. Uh, the YouTube channel is Real Talk with Devin Will. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you search that, you'll Hello, find it. Essie. You'll find it. Hey, what's going on? Um... And then like and subscribe and share with your friends. If you think that this, what, what we talk about is helpful, uh, that would be very, very cool. And then if you go to the YouTube channel, you'll get to see some of the behind-the-scenes stuff. Yeah. We were out and about last weekend doing some painting. Yes, we yes. did painting. Painting, and, and this weekend we, we, we were at lunch with some family, and we did some shopping at Target and Aldi and, 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 and had some fun. You got to... Right, get to ride around in a car with us while we were out being adorable. <laughs> Share our lives with us. Yes. Yeah, so anyway, thank. Well, thank you so much for for tuning in today, and we will um, get out of here and get make room for somebody else. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody, and for goodness sakes, y'all take care of yourself. We'll see you when we see you. Peace. Peace. Love you. Now I'm trying to find the button. Wait, button, button. Who's got the button? Why doesn't this work? Why does it take so? There you go. Take so long.